the hype around him was huge. He was in to replace Sadio Mane. He was going to be the next gen of Klopp and Liverpool. You're, you're Brazil's number nine. You've scored one league goal. Anthony, tell me, if you're right now, do you want a proven player in the Premier League yeah. or someone that's going to spin on the ball for 90 minutes? What's happening, everyone, and welcome to 888 Sport. On this episode of The Playlist, we are going to be ranking the top five transfer flops of this Premier League season. Helping me go through it is the one and only Sam Morgan and Mr. Ade Oladipo. Chaps, the players I would love for you to rank are Richarlison, Darwin Nunes, Anthony, Fabio Vieira and Mikhailo Mudrik. Right, let's get to it. Um, Should we spin? Let's spin. Three, two, one. You've had a mare. No. You've had a mare. Rory, can I be honest with you? I know you've done this just for arguments. Yeah. But I'm very disappointed. Wait, me. where? Nunes. Yeah, Nunes at four. I'm very... Nunes four? Yeah, I've got uh, Nunes five. Like, no, I've got Vieira bottom because I didn't expect much. Mm, I agree I, with I, that. I didn't... <laughs> but Nunes is actually no, he's, done right. He's getting away with it at 35 I expected million. more. Million getting away with it. No, in terms of the expectation, though, yeah. when Darwin Nunes was signed, he came with a huge reputation. Liverpool got in ahead of Manchester United, which felt significant in itself. He had one good season. Yeah, we yeah, him on the base of one good season. But the hype around him was huge. He was in to replace Sadio Mane. He was going to be the next gen of Klopp and Liverpool. And I don't think he's had a bad season, by the way. He's fourth. You've picked, he's you've had picked more a of an hole in Vieira. Yeah. He's had more of an impact than Vieira, but he was expected to have more of an impact. He cost quadruple the amount of money. No, he didn't. Stop your nonsense. What did he cost? Stop your nonsense. What did he 65 cost? 65 million euros. There's this weird thing about him. It's 85. No. I'm pretty no. sure it's 85. It's 85 with add ons. No, it's 85 with add ons. With so almost 100 million. Yeah. No, no, no. 85 million is the total. If Which he, is. If he achieves everything in, in the world, maths. like Ballon d'Ors and quick stuff. Quick maths. Four times the amount. Sorry, he cost 35 three, million. Vieira. Certainly. Vieira okay. cost 35 million. And nearly 100 million. No, he didn't cost the 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 Quick maths. <laughs> <laughs> you do quick maths. <laughs> you sure you want to do quick three maths? Times three, time. yeah. three times the amount. I thought he was 25 as well. But either way, either way, Fabio Vieira came with a far, far less expectation, far less reputation yeah. than Darwin Nunes. Oh, Liverpool's season has been, been absolute trash. <laughs> Awful. Worst season I can remember in years. He's still got 16 goals in all competitions this season. So he's come into a, a team that's literally just capsized, hasn't it? Mm. He's still somehow, even the pressure of filling Sadio Mane's boots, he's delivered. 16 goals. You know what it is? Haaland's came and he's just made everyone look but rubbish. But do you not think that your definition... 16 goals in all competitions. Do you not okay. think that the definition of delivery here is a little bit fluid? First season. 16. First season. First season on foreign land. 16 goals ain't but, the worst. But look, what you're saying is correct. I, I, I do genuinely agree with you if we're being rational and generous to footballers but that isn't the world we live in you, nobody ever says oh you know he's he's learning a new language he's living in a new country people go you cost this amount of money you come with this reputation you're filling the void left by what's, Sadio okay, Mane what's, what's a deliver. good season in terms of goal tally for a player coming over a striker un- coming over what's a good what's a good goal tally I don't think it I don't think it can be as cut and thrust as that yeah, I think no, it should be, should oh, be. My, I don't think my, it's my, score my this thing is goals. to score goals there's oh, a striker scored, I'm here to score goals score this you're amount of goals equal success misses you touched on Liverpool having a bad season but Klopp's not been able to actually put his best team out at all he doesn't know where he needs to play Nunes Jota he doesn't know where he has to play Diaz when he's when he's fit he, do, he just doesn't know the only player that seems to get minutes week in week out is, is Salah yeah so front, to get yeah. to get 16 goals in a team full of full rotation not to mention he was at the start a bit erratic with sort of head butts and hair pulling it's and god knows game, what else yeah. yeah exactly so really 16 goals for me I think is he's actually coming and out of that, if I'm looking at this list in terms of purchases if I was going to pick any of those right now, it's Nunes. Just for the record, he's fourth Cheers, on he's no fourth worries, on this man. list. I just think that we expected way more from Nunes than we did Vieira. And Nunes, at times, as, as kind as you've been about the goal tally and whatever else, he's looked a calamity at times. I understand Vieira. Look, I, I feel bad having a dig at him. It's been so bad for him, he's barely got any minutes recently. Mm. He's, he's, that's how bad it is, really. When you really say how bad it is for someone, you've come in, you've not made an impression, all right, stay on the bed. He's not even made the squad sometimes, Vieira. Mm. And I think he's getting away of not making the squad for 35 million. You're getting away with it. It's not like Arsenal go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of millions. He's come in and expected to be an impact player off the bench. He did it for a few games and then it's not happening. I just think that we expected so much more of Darwin Nunes than we did Vieira. He's, he's 
cheap by comparison. Mm. Yeah, mm. by comparison. But yeah. but look, if if you if you're insistent that I swap these two round, then I'll Please. do it. I think those two. Okay. Go. No, no I think I've got to. Yeah. If you don't mind. No, no drama. That'd be the nicest Liverpool thing I do. No <laughs> drama whatsoever. So fa- so f- so we're putting Fabio Vieira fourth. Yeah. Okay, now it gets... That means we're all kind of on the same page with the top yeah, three. Close. In yeah. any well, particular order. Close. You might want to ask Sam to turn <laughs> his ball around again, actually. <laughs> Did you need a reminder? Anthony Top. Talk to the me about... The floor is yours, sir. Yeah, yeah the floor, floor is yours, is yours. I see you've gone with Charleston. Yeah. But it comes, back to, it comes back to the argument of Kane and Son. Mm. Kane and Son. Everyone looks to Kane and Son. charleston has got heaps of pressure on. He was... Playing for Everton, remember, guys. He's going from Everton to Tottenham. He's got to ramp it up. Expectations a little bit different. And don't get me wrong, it is it is a tight one here for him mm. to not be first place. But Anthony, of all the YouTube compilations that were put together, all the hype, Ten Hag will get the best out of him. And the best <coughs> thing we've seen is a merry-go-round on a ball for 90 minutes. He does not. He doesn't deliver. And you talk about we just brought up price tags. We brought out price tags. Ooh, yeah, ooh. And he is talking about 88 as a starter. And he actually will go to 100 million. Mm. For what? And, no. and Manchester United overpaid. They knew that he wasn't worth that and they chose to pay So that it anyway. comes into part of the flop. I know he doesn't ask for that, that price. But when you're incorporating and spending that money on a player, your expectations have got to be high. Listen, I don't want to make a case for any Tottenham player ever. But can I just put one thing to you? Because I, I, like, I like your argument here. But I just massively disagree with it. When we're comparing Anthony to Richarlison, do we not just go... Anthony, some goals, Eight. big goals. Barcelona, knocking Barcelona out of the Europa League, which is significant, right? Whatever spin you want to put Whatever on Whatever Barcelona it. team it is. Any it? sneer that you want to demonstrate towards the Europa League, scored against Barcelona, knocked him out of it. Literally what? One? One league goal all season. I'm sorry. You know the Premier League. You've been in it with Everton. You've been in it with Watford. He knows how to score in the Premier League. You've come... You're, you're Brazil's number nine. You've scored one league goal. And he's had his minutes. And people will say, oh, it's Kane and Son. You're going to have to do better here. You're going to have to do better You just said it here. You just, one. You just said, okay, so uh, through Brazil, he's their number nine. He's the focal point up there. Kane is the focal. He takes everything. Kane wants everything. And when the players look up, who are they looking to give that ball to? It is Kane. Playing you know with, why? You know why they're Kane. looking to give it to Kane? Because they give it to him and he's so bad. <laughs> yeah, but, They've done uh, it. He's so bad. I, 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 it's, it's, it's hurts me to stick up for him, but he's still up, high up on this. I'm just looking at Anthony. What is he, what is he delivered for that price tag? You're, Man United are up there as well. They're up you know, there. You know what I will say about Anthony? Doesn't go hiding. I don't really like him, but doesn't go hiding. First time in the Premier League. New manager, new club. Like every, new it's, language, all, it's all changes. Yeah. I'm going to use that one as well. New language. Hold on. Eight just, goals. Eight just, goals. You just eight goals ain't a bad argument. return. Eight goals ain't a bad return. I, I'm not a fan of this, it. Addy. We've just one had this, goal Addy. in the league. We've just had this, Addy. We, we could say that then with Vieira and Nunes. You've just brought that up. Went up. I'm sorry. And Anthony, tell me if you're right now. Do you want a proven player in the Premier League? Yeah. Or someone that's going to spin on the ball for ninety minutes. That's all I'm asking. More than that, he does more. Oh, than sorry, no, he, he does. Scored, he does he a scored a couple tap. of crackers. He's got a, a couple tip-tap. of crackers. I, 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 I'm, I'm surprised, Sam. I'm, I'm surprised because I thought that we would just be like there would be total. We unanimous. thought this was the sign of the season. Remember when Richarlison went to Spurs? We thought, you know what? Oh, really? I thought, yeah, he I thought was, this is this could be danger. Wait, that front three. I remember the season three, that Son yeah. had last year? Yeah. Harry Kane is Harry Kane, and adding Richarlison, I was thinking that it Here strengthens Tottenham where go. they're already strong. And we know he plays from the left sometimes. So we thought, okay, maybe Son on the right, Richarlison on the left, Kane through the middle. He can danger. play with Kane. He can play instead of Kane. He can play with Son. He can play instead of Son. It was a great Boys, signing. They, they, he doesn't play on the counter. So Richarlison doesn't play on the counter. Come on, come on mate. Anthony's he's got one. And that was goal. recent. And it was wasn't. You could go as well, wasn't it? Uh, <laughs> and he tried to celebrate like, oh, you've done that. You've done that to the lips. I'm like, who are you doing that to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've <laughs> silenced you, no one. You're in no one. No, certainly not you're you You're still two. top of my list. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not silenced. You're yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. doing that to someone. Yeah. As, it's, as it's Tottenham, boys, I will give in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Richarlison won. I, I just he think it is, it is Richarlison. He is so bad. It seems to... I can't believe yeah, it. There's, yeah, there's one we've not really we've discussed missing, yeah, there. Yeah. Trying to avoid that one, right? Mudrick. Yeah. yeah. I think Mudrick's a, a difficult one because whatever you expected, I'm going to be totally honest with you, I've never heard of him. 
I never heard of it. Like, I don't think people do that enough in our industry, man. No, Everybody's no. like, oh, yeah, you know, when I was watching the Eredivisie, I'm like, well, I never watched that. Like, I don't know. <laughs> he clearly didn't watch him because he didn't play in Eredivisie. No, 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 but any any league. You know when people yeah. try and spin yeah. that they watch these other leagues? Yeah. I'm convinced I've they don't. I've never heard of him before. I'd no, never heard of Madrid no. until Chelsea... No, until well, Arsenal. Arsenal. Until Arsenal, yeah. yeah. And the reason why I think it's harsh, arguably, to even have him on this list is because he's, you've seen him play for what? I don't know, 200 minutes of Premier League football? Yeah, but it's his price tag, isn't it? Mm. That's the issue with him. Again, it's not their fault. They didn't ask to be bought for that money, but the price tag means you're going to have a more forensic look at what he does, and he's been awful. Yeah, but mate, the we just... game at Liverpool, he played well. I remember he skinned James Milner. I think Milner nearly got a hamstring, got a yellow card, got taken off straight away. And yeah. I thought, ooh, hello. Milner's yeah. 40 years old, almost. He's about 40 years old. <laughs> <now. laughs> and, and, and that was <laughs> it. Like, you know, if you talk about the highlights of Mikhailo Madrid at Chelsea... It was literally in his first game. He then met Graham Potter, was coached by Graham Potter for a bit, and he hasn't touched the football since. Yeah. Like, he's been, <laughs> he's been dreadful. And do you know where else I think it's... What is a sad indictment? I suppose this is a little bit like the Vieira conversation. You know when Chelsea have been desperate? When Chelsea have needed a spark? When Chelsea have needed a modern-day version of Gianfranco Zola or Eden Hazard? The unpredictable quality. In theory, that's Mudrick, isn't it? That's what he's supposed to be. Oh, no. when, when we've no, but in, in principple, is that what he's supposed? That's to what be he's supposed. Okay. He's supposed to be beat a man, drop a shoulder, lay it off, score a goal. He's meant to be I that. I thought he was old school Andre Sharvin. Yes, I, I thought that. Was yeah, him. but he's. I'd say he's him, like similar that? qualities. Oh, similar oh, qualities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. But he, um, he's never been the option. So when Chelsea have to score a goal, we're we're away at Tottenham. We're two 0 down. Losing to Tottenham is totally unacceptable. Like, it hasn't been acceptable at Chelsea for 35 years. We do not lose to Tottenham, ever. And if we do, we then beat them 4-0 twice in three days, off the back of it. Just, just re normal services resumed. We do not lose to Tottenham. We're 2-0 down, away from home. Their fans are like, Ole in passes. It's our former manager in the dugout. It's all hateful, right? We need something. You don't get a look in until, like, the 80s. You know when it's over. Mm. He's never the answer. So that is a problem. But in all of, you know, for every player that we've given any excuses for, maybe language issues or new league issues or whatever, 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 but Carlo Madrid is all of them. Like, he's in a team in disarray. He was managed by probably Chelsea's worst no, manager no, for 40 no, years. No, 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 he's, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I need to see a spark. You yeah. can't say yeah. all this. I need for eighty million. I need to see something. Yeah, I think that's do right. something. Give, give me, a, give me a step over. Do, do, give you, know me a harsh, do you know what was harsh? Do you know what was harsh? Eighty million. million I need you know two something. things that have been really harsh yeah. on him, right? Two things that have really counted against him. Firstly, the furore over the pursuit. You know, like just Arsenal fans he head in hand. Arsenal, Arsenal fans oh, gutted. Yeah. Chelsea fans like lording it over Arsenal fans. So just the story didn't help him because everybody expected him to does come along. Does he want to be there though? That's, do you, that, that's, mate, that's do it. you know the other thing that's do you know the other thing that's really killed him? Leandro Trossard being mustard. Like you know, Arsenal went and got my, uh, Trossard instead. That really didn't Four, do him any favours. Quarter of the price. Yeah. And it did a him no. Real quarter of the yeah, price. Yeah, Rory. Get the and, Let real. Get the right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and and do, do, do you know what else said? There was a moment, Mikhailo Midrick had one, I'd say his like his his best chance for Chelsea. Went through on goal at Stanford Bridge against Aston Villa. We're losing the game. McGinn has scored the goal of his life. Like we're we're struggling. Mikhailo Midrick's one on one with a keeper. And he it's a back pass. It's really bad. And do you know what I was thinking at that moment? I was just like. I know a Belgian geezer who's currently living in North London who scores from here. You know, it's like very much a Trossard moment. So I think all, all forces have conspired to be very anti mudrick But have you seen anything? Like, can he? No, me neither. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what to say no, about him. No, no, but no, where, how high have you got him on this list? No, no, I think we've all gone at third. third just for yeah, the sake he's of... Third, he's third. Only because he was a January Because he's brand new. No, yeah, brand new. Because realistically, brand realistically, I'd say... Mudrick, Vieira, Nunes, Anthony, Vitalis in a different conversation, but the four, as much as we are correct to put them in this bracket at the moment, realistically, none of us are judging these players until maybe this time next year. Certainly, certainly Christmas. I, mean, I judged Gakpo after two games, I was wrong. <laughs> we, we can Don't do that. We, we can but that's what we do. Yeah. That's what we do. It's too soon. But with Nunes, it's been a season now. I can kind of, you, can, you can see. Yeah. Yeah, you can. See, that's it. You're spot on. You can see something. You can see. You can see something. Yeah, I can't see it in Mudrick. I'll be honest with you. Okay, then to put you on the spot, Sam, I'll start with you. Anthony and Mudrick. We've currently got Anthony second, Mudrick third. This time next year, what one of these players has excelled, if any? I'm going to say Mudrick. 
reason being, I think Chelsea will get that new manager in. They'll actually trim down the squad and they'll get Mudrick the minutes that he actually deserves in a system that he actually deserves. I think Anthony end up having a bit more rotation under Ten Hag next season. Addy? Anthony. Yeah, I think I think Anthony will, will come, not come good, but I think he'll be better than Mudrick next season. I'm not even convinced Mudrick... How many, how many Chelsea players flop when they're big money? I, Only if they play number nine. I'm not convinced. Yes, good shout. <laughs> <laughs> I just think Ten Hag likes Anthony. He likes him a lot. Even in bad games this season, he's played him. Consistently plays him. So I think Anthony's going to come good. I think he'll get your double-digit goals next season. Mudrick, not sure he'll start. There we have it. Thank you to every single one of you for watching this video. We really do appreciate it. Please give it a like and please click subscribe. This is our final list. Richarlison. The worst signing of last summer, followed by Anthony, Mudrick, Fabio Vieira and Darwin Nunes. Uh, let us know. Do you agree with our suggestions? Is there anyone that we've left off the list? Let us know in the comments below. The second that this video goes live, the three of us will all be in the comments. Make sure you click subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode of The Playlist. Uh, that was fun. Richarlison, clearly number one by a stretch. Darwin Nunes should not be on this list. Please jump in the comments section and remove him. Who else should be there instead of Darwin Nunes? All right, next week, we're going to be ranking the top five disappointments of the season. Who has really let you down? There are loads. It's five. It could be 100. Uh, make sure you do all the good things. Subscribe, like, and share. And we'll see you on the next one.